believe the power. When you first get into it, the first day, you can't believe it. It's incredible. You'd be scared, believe me I was. What scared Tristan was the FJ20 intercooled turbo he just squeezed into his TE Gemini. And it wasn't even his first choice. Rotary or V6 I haven't tried. Um, a bit expensive. I didn't really like rotaries, but I heard they were quick, so... Then I got told the FJ20s were, you know, good motor, good solid motor. I should have put the motor in sooner, because I blew up about four standard motors. So, it cost me a bit of money, but, you know, it's paid off. It's a good car now. The person offered me 14000 for it. It's still in the workshop, um, but I haven't even driven it yet, so there's no use selling it. We started off just in stock form. As you see it now, red with the same wheels. Um, since then, I've just done new interior, just standard, repulsted. And then um, dropped the motor in uh, about a year ago. Then since then, I put intercooler and blow-off valve. But just the diff still the same, everything like that. Main thing's just fitting, clearing the cross member. It's just something we modified the sump. Um, but otherwise, fits in pretty good. The only problem they had is probably the brakes. They were too small standard, of course, so we had to go up to BM. Tristan competed at the Fours and Rotaries Nationals with some success. The drag strip, you know, it's a short one, whatever. And this thing doesn't, like, really cut in good power until you hit about third. By the time you hit third, fourth, the track's over. Couldn't really get a good time, you know. It's not a bad day out, really. And Tristan wasn't the only Gemini owner not having a bad day out. With a quarter mile time of 12.9, the drag strip is Tristan's main focus. Yeah, because I don't really want to circuit race it, anything like that, it's just for quarter mile, just, you know, have a bit of fun. And the handling's certainly a bit of fun. Not really good. Um, a bit slide around corners. It's not really meant for round corners, really, it's just meant for straight lines. But Rod disagreed, so with Tristan's approval, he took it out for a blast. As long as it doesn't smash into the wall, I hope. predictable in the handling. You can control this one on the throttle because it's got such fantastic horsepower. Almost 220 horsepower in fact. For the age of the car and the modifications you've done to it, she's a pretty good package. 